All right, week nine is here. It's upon us. Uh, I hope you uh, are having a great week. I hope you enjoy your Halloween, which is coming up this Saturday. And uh, just as a reminder, as always, there is a Sunday night phone call. Uh, nobody generally gets on it, but if you want to get on, if you want to talk about the course, if you're concerned about your grades, um, I forget it off the top of my head. I forget if it's 8 or 9 or 9 to 10. But whatever it is, it's on the syllabus, and I encourage you to get on and um, develop your skills and your understanding of this course further and also talk through problems. Just also as a reminder, remember, uh, each week your attendance participation is tied to your discussion boards and those discussion boards include three posts, or excuse me, four submissions, one post, one response to a classmate or myself, and then two, which can be either a post or response to be counted fully, um, you have to have at least five or, or seven sentences. You know, so really develop a thought, a substantial thought or a substantial response. Uh, your midterm uh, exams are back. Uh, I look forward to going through your short uh, assignments and hopefully getting them back by the end of this weekend. Can't guarantee it, but that's the hope. And uh, this week we also have a living ethics, so this one is fun. You essentially have to pick a moral theory that we've studied either utilitarianism, Kant, or this week, natural law. And for a day, live like that ethics demands of you. So if you pick utilitarianism, you have to spend your whole day living like a utilitarian. You have to ask yourself, for each decision you make, will this make the world a happier place? And if it doesn't, you shouldn't do it. And if it does, you should. For Kant, you have to follow this rational, moral law. You've got to do what you do simply because it's the right thing to do. You have to think about the principle of universality, which is taking whatever your action is, whatever your justification for doing what you're doing, and universalizing it. Saying, what if everybody followed this justification? Would it remain logically consistent and coherent? And then finally, for Kant, aside from acting for no other reason that's the right thing to do, and following the principle of universality, you also have to respect other people. You cannot use other people. You cannot approach and interact with people in terms of how they're beneficial to you, at least in the primary uh, sense. Um, and then finally, natural law. And so there's four principles with natural law. Um, one is the, uh, the principle of uh, sociability. So you have to be social. You're meant to interact with others, build relationships with others. Um, the principle of knowledge, which is you're meant to develop your knowledge, gain understanding of the world and yourself. Um, the principle of procreation. You're meant to further uh, the human race. You are meant to um, procreate uh, in ways that are responsible, in ways that will help you bring about uh, future generations that are well-developed, well-trained, and well-parented. Finally, the principle of life, and that is that life is good. The idea is that we should preserve life and avoid actions which... Um, would violate that principle. Alright, so those are the four principles of, of natural law. Those are the four basic principles. If we take a step back and we ask, well, what is natural law? Well, the basic idea is that nature determines what is good. Another way to phrase it, the good person does what they he or she is naturally designed to do. And for a natural law that says everything in nature has a purpose. The purpose of an acorn, for example, is to grow into a tree, but not any tree, a very specific tree, the oak tree. The purpose of a tadpole is to grow into a frog, not an antelope or giraffe or zebra. Uh, we as humans also have a specific purpose. We're also meant to do certain things. And those are what I just mentioned, the principle of life, the principle of procreation, the principle of sociability, and the principle of knowledge. Our actions should for further... Um, promote, sustain, support those four goals. That's what a good person does. Um, and that's how a good person lives naturally. And so we'll talk about, well, how do we apply this? What does that mean? Uh, and that will all be part of the discussion boards and your living ethics. Uh, so again, look forward to working with you this week. Look forward to your posts. Uh, in general, they've been pretty good. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, comments, confusions, Please, 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 please uh, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, uh, stop me in the hallway if you know who I am, 
or if you recognize my, my face when I'm going through there, or just come by on office hours. I would love to see you. All right, thanks.